So, today we will be doing some problems and most of the problems that I will be doing in this course will be based on the book by Kleppner and Colin Co. This is that book introduction to mechanics by Daniel Kleppner and Robert Colin Co. So, most of our problems will be from this book, but not for quiz okay, for doing in the in the class. So, the first problem I am taking is uh, based on example 1.17 and it says that a particle moves with a so, first problem is a particle moves in a plane. The problems that I am taking today will be using plane polar coordinates. So, it is a practice of using plane polar coordinates. So, a particle moves in a plane with standard notations r dot is equal to 4 meter per second and you know what is r and what is theta. This is x axis, this is y axis, this is the position of the particle, then this distance is r and this angle is theta. These are the plane polar coordinates. So, r dot, dot means d d t, d d t of r is uh, 4 meter per second and theta dot is 2 radian per second, theta dot is 2 radian per second. So, this is uh, the data given and you are asked to find the velocity and acceleration of this particle. Find velocity and acceleration of this point of this particle. Okay. So, as you know what is velocity? Velocity has two components, radial components and transverse component. I call this theta cap direction as transverse direction and r cap direction is the radial direction. So, this is r cap and this is theta cap. Although this book calls it tangential acceleration, but tangential would mean tangent to the path, not uh, perpendicular to this uh, radial. So, v is equal to r dot r cap and plus r theta dot theta cap. So, that is the expression for velocity and r dot is given here 4 meter per second and r cap and then r and theta cap is given 2 radian per second. When when the when r is 3 meter when r is 3 meters so that is also in the question find the velocity and acceleration of this particle when r is 3 meters so you can put this 3 here so 4 this is finally it will be in uh, meter per second so remember that i am using only the numerical values here but the velocity will come out to be in meter per second because we are feeding all SI data. So, this is 4 times r cap and plus 3 into 2 is 6, 6. So, theta cap, theta cap. So, that is the velocity meter per second. This is the velocity. So, this is in this direction the component is 4 units and in this direction the component is 6 units. If you want a speed, it is just a square root of this 4 square and plus 6 square. So, 16 plus 36 that is square root of 52 meter per second that is the speed and if you want uh, the angle you can always get what is this angle tan theta is equal to this uh, radial component divided by the transverse component. So, this is uh, about uh, velocity. Then acceleration is acceleration is the radial component of acceleration is r double dot minus r theta dot square. Okay. We must have uh, derived this otherwise you can derive it r cap and the transverse component is r theta double dot plus 2 times r dot theta dot. 
you know we had done uh, d r cap by d theta and d theta cap by d theta we had done this and then uh, if you are differentiating with respect to time you also have to finally differentiate with respect to time here so theta dot theta dot that will those things will be used here and then you can get uh, this relation so if i put the the values here r dot is fixed okay so r double dot which is ddt of r dot is 0 so that's one and then theta dot is 2 so theta dot is 2 and therefore theta double dot is d theta dot by dt that is also 0 so this is 0 and this is 0 so what you are left with r theta dot is square so a is equal to a is equal to uh, minus r theta dot square so minus r theta dot square and this is in r cap direction and in theta cap direction in theta cap direction it is 2 r dot theta dot so plus 2 r dot theta dot in uh, theta cap direction you put the value 3 here then theta dot square that is 4 here and uh, this much r cap plus 2 times r dot into theta dot 4 into 2 so 4 into 2 theta cap so that is the acceleration 12 r cap plus 16 theta cap meter per second square okay so that is how you can get this uh, acceleration next problem problem number 2 and uh, this is based on 1.18 of the book and the problem is a particle is moving on a circle with a uniform speed v a particle is moving on a circle with a uniform speed v circle of radius r find the rate at which the acceleration changes find the rate with which the acceleration changes ok so a particle moves on a circle of radius capital R and with a constant speed v uniform circular motion you have done it in standard 11 and you know what is the acceleration the acceleration is towards the center and is minus v square by r uh, you can also write from here the acceleration is r double dot minus r theta dot square in r cap direction and r theta double dot plus 2 times r dot theta dot in theta cap direction since r is constant the distance of the particle from the origin is constant you can take x axis you can take y axis this is r this is theta r dot is 0 r double dot is 0 so this term goes away and r dot is 0 so this term goes away then you have a theta double dot and theta dot the angular velocity theta dot d theta dt okay d theta dt is uh, v by r because if this is d theta and then this is the v times uh, dt so d theta by dt will be v by r so theta dot is v by r v is constant r is constant so theta double dot is 0 
So theta double dot is 0. So you do not have any theta cap component of the acceleration we know it. If the speed is not changing the tangential acceleration is 0 and here the tangential acceleration is same as that theta component of the acceleration because here uh, this theta direction is actually tangent to the path. So, this is gone and then you have minus r theta dot square and theta dot is your v by r this r is capital R and this is v square by r square r cap and that is minus v square by r r cap. So, this result you anyway know. Now comes rate of change of acceleration d a d t that is minus v square by r is constant right minus v square by r is constant r cap. So, this is d r cap d t which is d r cap d theta and then d theta d t which is minus v square by r and what is d r cap d theta? d r cap d theta is theta cap ok. We must have done it. So, this is theta cap, this is theta cap and d theta d d t is this one v by r. So, this is v by r and then this theta cap. So, this rate of change of acceleration is minus v cube by r square and then theta cap. This is our question number 2. Next question 3 and this is based on uh, example 1.17 and it says that a particle moves with theta dot is equal to omega which is constant and r is equal to r naught e to the power omega t. So, this is the information given theta dot is omega and r is r naught e to the power omega t. The first part is sketch the path, sketch the path. So, when you want to get the path time is not important we want a relation between the coordinates on which path it moves. So, here it is uh, r is given as r naught e power omega t and theta from here will be omega t. So, I can eliminate t and write r as r naught e to the power theta. So, that is the equation of the path and how does it look like sketching. So, if you have uh, say x axis and y axis and at theta is equal to 0, if you take theta equal to 0, e to the power 0 is 1 and r is equal to r naught and theta equal to 0 means along the x axis. So, in this direction, this is theta equal to 0 direction and r is equal to r naught. So, from here you have to go a distance r naught. So, this is r naught, this a small thing is r naught. So, particle is here when theta is 0 particle is there. Now, when theta is let us say pi by 2 as theta increases from 0 e to the power theta will increase you know what is e theta e to the power theta 1 plus theta plus theta square by 2 and so on. So, theta increases e theta increases at theta equal to pi by 2 this uh, e to the power theta is e to the power say 1.57 and that value is around 4.8. So, that means r will be r naught into 4.8. So, if this is r naught here theta equal to pi by 2 that means you are here and the 4.8 times of this. So, I cannot draw it to the scale. So, this is say 4.8 times r naught and it is continuously increasing here, it is continuously increasing here, it is going like this, it is going like this. 
then when theta is pi when theta is pi e to the power theta will be square of this and that is around 23 <laughs> that is around 23 okay so this is r not when it reaches here it is uh, 23 times of this so i cannot draw on the scale i can only tell that it will keep on increasing 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 and it will be like this and then uh, when theta is 3 pi by 2 when theta is 3 pi by 2 then this is 110 this is e power theta is 110 so it ever increases it ever increases and this is 110 times this r now theta is 2 pi e to the power theta will be very high it is 534 534 square of this so it will go like this and so on so on so on so this kind of spiral will be there you can draw a much better work and look at the angles which we will be doing in the, in the other sections anyway so this is part a part b is find the speed as a function of theta so part b is find the speed as a function of theta so write velocity velocity is r dot r cap and plus r theta dot theta cap should be tuned to it and write it uh, quickly this is velocity so and uh, we what we need speed so r dot r dot what is r dot r is equal to r naught e to the power omega t and or you can also say this is e to the power theta so r dot is r r dot is r naught and then e to the power theta into theta dot right what we have done differentiate with respect to time this is to be differentiated with respect to time first differentiate with respect to theta because it is written as a function of theta so differentiate with respect to theta and then differentiate theta with respect to time so that is how it comes and theta dot is uh, known theta dot is fixed omega so this is r naught times omega times e to the power theta this is r dot and what is r theta dot r theta dot is r naught e to the power theta this is r and then theta dot and theta dot is omega so this is r theta dot what you see is r dot is same as r theta dot see r dot is same as r theta dot that means v r r component of the velocity is same as theta component of the velocity this thing and this thing are same the component of this velocity in r cap direction it's same as the component of velocity in r theta cap theta dot uh, th in, in theta cap direction so if i am somewhere here on this path if i am somewhere here on this path and if this is the r cap direction and the perpendicular to it is theta cap direction this is r cap this is theta cap the velocity has equal components in the two directions and therefore the velocity should be in this direction 45 degree to it 45 degree to it our diagram is bad our diagram is very bad okay the velocity should be 45 degree to the radial direction the velocity should be 45 degree to the tangential direction so it should go like this it should go like this here this is radial direction r cap this is tangential direction theta cap and then it should go like this equal angle from r cap direction and theta cap everywhere everywhere this is r cap direction and this is theta cap direction and the actual velocity should be in between so it should go like this okay so <laughs> don't go by 
the sketch of the diagram and you can draw a much better diagram. But the thing is, it will keep on increasing, R will keep on increasing all the time this equation will be followed. So, speed, speed will be this uh, V r square plus V theta square. So, this is root 2 times root 2 times omega r naught e to the power theta so, that is the speed. Okay. Then uh, this is part b part c is find the angle made by the velocity vector with the radial and transverse we have done that. So, no need next part is find the radial transverse and tangential acceleration. So, write it as c find the radial transverse and tangential acceleration. Okay. So, what is this uh, radial acceleration? Radial acceleration A r is r double dot and minus r theta dot square. This is the radial direction, acceleration in radial direction. What is r double dot? What is r double dot? This is r. So, r double dot is r dot is omega times r naught e power omega t. So, we are differentiating with respect to time and r is given by this. So, with respect to time you differentiate this omega comes here. So, omega r naught e to the power omega t that is r dot and therefore, r double dot is once again differentiate with respect to time. So, omega square into r naught and uh, then uh, e power omega t. So, that is the radial that is the r double dot that is r double dot and what is r theta dot square? r theta dot square means e to the r naught into r naught into e to the power omega t that is r theta dot theta dot is uh, omega. So, theta dot square is omega square. So, omega square r naught e to the power omega t again you see omega square r naught and uh, omega t. So, what is this? What is this? What is this? This is 0. Interesting radial component of the acceleration is 0. Okay. So, a r is equal to 0 a r is equal to r double dot minus r theta dot square is equal to 0. r is increasing uh, in a great fashion. Uh, r is increase is going away from this origin and uh, it is uh, exponentially it is going away. You can see this is 4.8, this is 23 and so on, this is 500 r dot if you see r dot here is r dot r dot is also increasing. So, the rate at which this distance is increasing that rate is also increasing, but still the acceleration in that radial direction is 0. So, you can have motion in which r increases r dot also increases, but then uh, the radial acceleration is 0 transverse acceleration that means acceleration in theta direction and that is r theta double dot and minus plus 2 r dot and theta dot. So, go in the same fashion theta double dot theta dot is fixed theta dot is fixed theta dot is d theta dt and that is fixed that is omega okay. this theta dot is omega. So, theta double dot is 0. 2 times r dot and theta dot theta dot is omega and r dot r dot is this omega r naught. So, omega here r naught here and e power omega t. So, that is the acceleration in 
theta direction transverse direction in this direction this is this is that theta direction so this direction there's no acceleration this direction you do have acceleration and it is this much and therefore the acceleration is in this direction so there is no radial acceleration this uh, theta cap direction that is the direction of the acceleration so the entire acceleration is in this direction and this is the magnitude and tangential tangential acceleration at you can write tangential acceleration what is that acceleration in along this tangent if this is the path then this is the tangential direction and in that tangential direction what is the acceleration so in theta cap direction you have acceleration full acceleration is in theta cap direction so if you need a tangential component you just multiply by cos of that angle okay and since we have seen that cos or this angle is 45 degree this angle is 45 degree cos of 45 degree is 1 by root 2 and therefore this is a theta times 1 by root 2 this is also this a theta is also a full acceleration so this is root 2 times omega square r naught and then e power omega t or e power theta if you so wish so that gives you the tangential acceleration then uh, the next part is the next part is show that show that this tangential acceleration is dv dt is equal to dv dt rate of change of speed okay in circular motion you must have studied the radial acceleration is v square by r towards the center and the tangential acceleration is dv dt rate of change of speed so that uh, we generally do for circular motion but here if i do this dv dt what is speed here is the speed this is the speed so v is equal to square root of 2 omega and then r naught and e to the power theta which is omega t so dv dt is equal to rate of change of speed square root here omega here and one omega will come from the differentiation so omega square here r naught here and e power omega t here and you match you match so in this case also even if the path is not circular the tangential acceleration component of acceleration towards the tangent is given by this dv dt rate of change of speed so we close the session here and you can do more practice with uh, the book kleppner if you can get that is the base book which i am following at least for this problems solving so you can do more practice yourself.